brick chick here with a tutorial on how to make a cool Lego automatic wheelchair. So let's take a look at it. I have the little joystick here that you can, you know, move to control where you're going. There's a little button here, so if you press it, this tray will come out inside right there so you can put food on it. That just goes down to the side very easily. And I have a little bag on the side there to put stuff in. And these are the wheels that I use. I actually used a 3x3 three three parabola. And I use those because all the wheels that I have, none of them would look good on a wheelchair. It would look too much like a car and it just wouldn't look good. So I use these. I think it looks nice. And, you know, it does turn if you turn them opposite ways. And if I put this little brake up here, it does roll. So I do have the brake there. So it doesn't, you know, tip over. You can just stand there nicely. Add the handles for someone to push you if you wanted to. And you can fit a minifigure in it, so I can take my Brick Chick minifigure. And I can just set her in here. And this back does recline, so she can lie down if she wants to. And there's a little footrest so you can stretch out. And this tray does still come out with her in it, so I thought that was pretty cool. So, let's get started. Alright, here are the pieces that you're going to need to build a wheelchair. You're going to need two 1x1 one one round studs, two 1x1 one one headlight bricks, two 2x3 two plates, one 2x2 two two plate, one 1x1 one one plate, one bag, two um, Technic pins, and then one transparent red one by one stud, and then you're going to need one black stud, three black one by one plates, four one by two plates, two one by three plates, two two by two plates, and one two by three plate. And then two one by one smooth tiles, two one by three smooth tiles, two one by two plates with the bar, two, I mean five um, one by one plates with the vertical clip on it, and then four one by one bricks. Two one by two bricks, and then two one by one bricks with one knob on it. In the video, in the actual tutorial, you will see that I only have one of these, so I ended up having to use a one by one brick with two knobs and a one by one brick with a hole in it. And that's kind of a one. It works, but if you do have two of these, I would definitely recommend using those. And then you're going to need two like faucet or tap pieces. One joystick, two one by one bricks with the hole in the middle, two one by two plates, one one by three plate, and then one one by two plate with the shorter bar, and then one of these that has that angled piece there. And then you're going to need two 3x3 three three parabolas, and this is going to be the wheel on the wheelchair. So, let's get building. Alright, so I'm going to start by making the base of my wheelchair. So I'm going to take two 2x3 two plates. I'm just going to place them next to each other, but I'm going to flip them over. So, I am going to take two 1x1 one one bricks with holes in the middle. And then I'm going to take two Technic pins place one in each and then I'm going to take a stud and place one on each and then I am going to take two 3x3 three three parabolas, parabolas sorry, and I'm going to place one on each these are going to be the wheels of the wheelchair so I'm just going to place one right here and then one over here and then I'm going to take four 
one by one bricks, and I'm going to place one in each corner. So I'm going to place two here, like so, and then two in the other one. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to take two headlight bricks, and I'm going to take one of these that has that on it, and I'm going to place it on those so that this moves downward. And then I'm going to take two one by 2 plates, place them on top of one another, place this on here. This is going to be the brake for the wheelchair. And then I'm going to place this right in there so you have something that looks like this. Alright, now I'm going to make the footrest for the wheelchair. So I'm going to take a one by 2 plate, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to take two one by one plates with the vertical clip on it. I'm going to place these right on there. And then I'm going to take one of these one by two plates with the bar or the, you know, the handle on it. Clip that right into place. And then I'm going to take a one by two plate and a two by two plate and place a two by two right here. Flip this over and place the one by two on the bottom. And then I'm going to place this right here on the front. And this just folds under very nicely. Alright, now I'm going to make the back of the armchair. So I'm going to take a 1 by 2 plate. And on top of that, I'm going to take two 1 by 1 plates with the vertical clip on it. I'm just going to place them on here, like so. And then I'm going to take one of these 1 by 2 plates with the, you know, the bar or the handle on there. Place it there. And then I'm going to flip this over and on the back, place a 2 by 3 plate right there. And then that little opening right there. Place a 2 by 2 plate right there. And then to smooth things off, I'm going to take two of my three smooth tiles. Just place them on there. And then I'm going to place this right there. So it looks like this, and I have a nice reclining back. So now I'm going to make the sides of the armchair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 1 by 1 brick right here. And then I'm going to take a on my one brick with two knobs and then a one by one brick with the technical. I would just recommend using a one by one brick with one knob but I only have one. So to make one I'm just going to place these two pieces together and so I have one right there. So I'm just going to place that right there. And then on top of those I'm going to place a one by three plate. So I have something that looks like this. And then I'm going to place a one by one smooth tile right on there and then a one by one plate right here and then a stud right there and on top of that stud I'm going to place this bag that I have right on there and then on the back I'm going to place a faucet piece little tap piece right on there and then I'm going to place this right in there now I'm going to make the other side. So I'm going to take a 1x2 brick and then a 1x1 brick with one knob right here and then a 1x3 plate right on top here and then a 1x2 plate right here and then two 1x1 plates placed on top of one another and then a 1x1 smooth tile right on top of that and place that right here on the end. So you have something that looks like this. And then I'm going to take a, another tap piece and place it right on there. And I'm going to place that one on this side. Alright, so now I'm going to make the tray. So I'm going to take a one by one plate with the vertical clip on it. And I'm going to take a transparent red one by one round. So I'm going to place it right on top of it. And then I'm going to take a one by two plate with the handle right there. Place that right on there. And then I'm going to place a 2x2 two two plate right on there. I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to place a 1x3 plate right on there. And on top of that little opening, I'm going to place a 1x1 one one plate right there. And then I'm just going to place this right on there. And you have a nice sliding tray that just goes over and fits there very nicely. It just fits off to the side. And then, one last thing, I'm going to take a joystick. I'm going to place it right in here in that little opening. And then I'm just going to put that break out so it won't fall over. 
So now you know how to make a cool Lego automatic wheelchair that has a joystick to control it with, a button that if you press this tray will come out and you can eat food. It has a nice reclining back so you can get comfortable. It has a nice brake so it does not fall over. And it has two handles so someone can push you if you would like. And then it does have a fold out footrest. It has nice wheels and a little bag on the side. And like I showed you before, it does fit a minifigure in it. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and thank you for watching.